Blockchains use Merkle trees for fast and efficient validation of data. Merkle trees summarize the entire set of data in a block by creating a root hash of that data. Root hash is created by repeatedly hashing pairs of child nodes until only one node is left. Let's take a look at a diagram of a Merkle tree. This diagram consists of four transactions represented as transaction A, transaction B, C, and D. The transaction data is then hashed and the resulting hashes are stored in leaf nodes represented as H of A, B, C, and D. Nodes are repeatedly hashed in pairs and the resulting hashes are stored in child nodes until only one node remains, the Merkle root or root hash. The reason you wouldn't want to hash the entire set of data as a string is because it's not efficient when validating transactions. In this example, if Alice needed to show Bob that a transaction was valid, let's say transaction C, Alice would need to send the entire list of data to validate the block. But when using a Merkle tree, Alice only needs to send the nodes that contain the transaction that she is looking to validate. Let's say Alice wants to validate transaction F. Alice would only need to send the data of transaction F and four hash values to Bob. Bob would then calculate the hash value based on the given information. And if the root matches the block, the transaction can be assumed to be valid. Merkle trees allow for validation of a specific transaction without requiring the entire set of data.